This is just the sort of place that begs exploring. Narrow passages may await us. Be on your guard. No quarrel here. You've come. I knew I could count. In we go, then. We have been called upon to render aid. Let us make haste. This gloom has an eerie cast. Let my magic This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. Seems we've stumbled into Saurian territory. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. We are fortunate indeed. This is a rare find. We shall have to think long and hard about what to do with it.
saved. Thank you. Don't we have a report to make, Master? We have completed our quest with nary a hitch. I cannot wait to see Sir Jonas eat his words. Leave this to me, Master. I'll bring you straight to the one you... So, it would seem your rescue mission was a success. No matter. You'll accept your punishment all the same. How can you say that, Jonas? Now you're just being cruel. Cruel, am I? And what do you call disobeying my orders and endangering the entire village for the sake of one foolhardy Peter banished? All of you. You're... Your place to question my dis. Sometimes I wonder if I'm caught out. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? Twould seem my mother has joined hands with a Batali researcher to achieve her purpose. Which, according to this missive, is to arrange things so that I might rule the kingdom. But I don't understand. Vermont needs no consul. It's found its ruler, its sovereign, pretender though he may be, to say naught of you. Does she mean to remove you and the false sovereign both from the picture? Is that what is meant by this tragedy? Tis a frightful thought. Yet we are in a much stronger position for having learned of it. You've my... Ah, tis you. I thank you for coming to see me. Beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around me. As it progresses, the poor... Have you come to be curious? Of While it is admirable to devote yourself to a single pursuit, particularly if you are eligible for a special vocation, heretofore unseen opportunities of exciting potential. Have you found any of the items we discussed? Do come again. Welcome. Have you come to be curious of while it is admirable to devote yourself, particularly if you are eligible for a special vocation? Here to f or unseen opportunities of exciting potential. Always a pleasure. Now you will be able to attack at range. Upon my life, no foe shall approach the Arisen. Looks like my luck's run out. I'm a goner. 
This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. I'll not take that from you. Gather round, gather round. Much appreciated. If memory serves, there is another place we were to visit not far from here. It is worth considering, if we've the time. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early Britain gets the worm. I shan't without any further harm. You're served. You do try not to catch cold. Here, strike with lightning on your side. Oxguard was beset by a sailor he could not shake. And this is the result. Be on your guard. Let me be the symbol of fate. We ought to proceed with caution. The day grows darker with our every step. Ears pricked. It will be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone. I shan't let you get away.
to break it. It shan't be from this side. True enough. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Displaying bowmanship for an elf. My hand would tremble on the string if twere me. But I pray, allow me to open your chest. Down the flame before it's too late. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their use. Why bother carrying a lantern? If not to use it when light is needed. I'm setting foot in this place, but I trust we'll muddle through. Keep stout of heart and clear of mind. <laughs> it is a strange sort that ventures willingly into darkness. to record. 
recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? your word you have come let us begin at once um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost uh, uh, so, so stand here and take your aim at yon targets Unlike those of Elven Lake, those crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? But I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all those, yes? Not so for those of Elven Lake, however. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of Elven kind. We are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true, I admit. I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Let us see if I fare any better now. Huzzah! What a feat! I, I, I can hardly believe it. Every last arrow found its mark. Dead center. This marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for ease of aim and steadfast flight of each arrow. To think that I should, I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow of foreign make than one of my own peoples. It is a strange thought, but how else to explain it? My arrows have not soared so true in all my days. I'd nearly given up on myself. Yet it would seem I am not without talent after all. My performance with this bow has divested me of such doubts. But the ingenuity of this design. If only my people would take heed. It is all very well to talk of honing one's form, but why should we not perfect the tool so integral to our customs? I am decided. I shall take this bow back to the arbor. With this as my weapon, I have no doubt I shall pass by a trial of arch. It seems Sir Glindor's doubts no longer plague him. May his newfound confidence see him through his trial of archery. You have my support. get through this door. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. I suppose it is so.
party is well balanced. I can see no weaknesses that might be exploited. So long as we remember to keep to our assigned roles, we shall be a united front in the face of any foe. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. We have found a material. A fighter's defense is a stalwart indeed. Approach with new caution. We ought to proceed with caution. Keep your ears pricked. Our foes might betray themselves with the slightest sound. Pray speak up. Did you notice the more <laughs>
for so soon. Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. One never can have too many of these. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? I suppose we cannot expect sunshine to follow us wherever we journey. It will be worth it in the end. If we for the same results with our next attack. Shall we rest here a moment? The rain ought to bait soon enough. 
It is as you say. Break it from this side. Perhaps. I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart travelling a night is suspicious enough in its own right. If I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? What is it? I've done naught worth following me over. Pray let me go. Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. Tis a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. 
I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, I swear, I'll ne'er do all like this again. You have my sincerest thanks. I see the true arisen is merciful. I'll be going then. The contents of this document are beyond my ken. Methinks we ought to show it to someone better apprised of such things. Well, now, I'm not sure. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, so you've encountered the Phantom Oxcart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the law does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawn's destination, perchance we will discover the intent behind this. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid Your Majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap Your Majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to Your Majesty's discretion. I shan't deny. They have their uses. generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in I grant you lightly. Yeah, into a pincushion! 
Gathering materials. Makes for dull work indeed. What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. more drink. Could do with a proper meal. What was that? Fine. Now I'm jumping in shadows. We're under attack! Don't just stand there! Protect the cart! Drive the fiends back! You'll just have to listen then. You pools of quit. They say you'll do whatever the arisen says. You offer no complaint or quarrel, and you're undying to put. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea what they do with you, or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Patal. <laughs> Did that scare you? Pay me no mind. It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it anyhow. Not like I care either. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed for it. Mr. How long you'll be? I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective starts to recuperate my strength. I suppose all we can do. Bolt, we're expecting your cargo. Open up. I hear they follow whatever command they're given. And they'll take any beating without a word of complaint.
Let's see for ourselves. How'd you like that? Only thing that... Oh, the tough. You going to fight back? <laughs> they may be undying, but they do seem to ah, know. They just take it. it. Another day. What are you waiting for? Put out a charge! It is like hitting a trap. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Enough! That's valuable merchandise you're toying with. Worth more than your wages combined. Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No. Well, get a move on. We're off. On your knees, worthless vessels! If we keep searching, I'm sure... Joe will find something. Wait! You're not aboard. We're an intruder in our midst! To arms! Forgive me for being a burden arisen. 